Y'all, this is Zach from Meals Under Pressure. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you how to make a roast, a creole roast, in your Instant Pot. Um, normally I would use a one and a half to a two pound roast, uh, but bear with me because tonight I've got some stew meat on hand that I'm trying to get rid of. So this is about a pound of stew meat, uh, but the recipe is the same and I'm going to show you how to make it. So together with the meat, I've got some broth. That's what I'm going to use in my liquid. Uh, I've got some diced tomatoes. These are basil, garlic, and uh, oregano. You can use whatever flavors you want. If you really want to kick it up a bit, use some fire roasted diced tomatoes. Slap your mama seasoning. Use whatever Cajun or Creole seasoning you like. Um, I've got my onions and a couple stalks of celery, or my onion, medium sized onion. A couple stalks of celery that I'm gonna, I'm gonna dice up, and I'm gonna use about five or six uh, cloves of garlic. So, And to top it all off with, or to put on top, of, I'm gonna use this uh, jambalaya, this 20 century jambalaya is my right. So real good recipe, full of flavor, you're really gonna love it. Again, I'm using stew meat, but I'm showing you the recipe as if we're using uh, using a roast. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my, uh, my meat seasoned up and my, my onions and celery and garlic chopped up, and we'll be back. All right, so I've got everything cut up, and I've got my stew meat, and I'll just salt and pepper. As much as you can on all the sides. I've already done the other side. All right, so I got my saute function on in this pot. Take a little oil, about maybe a, about maybe a tablespoon. All right, let me go ahead and put that in, and I'll brown it for about five minutes. To kind of make sure you get every you know, each side uh, brown. The same with a roast, salt and pepper. Put it in there, brown it for about, about on five minutes per side to get a little of that bark on the uh, on the outside of it. All right, so let me get this brown, and we'll be back, and I'll show you the rest of the recipe. Right, so we've been browning our meat for about I don't know, five to six minutes. All right, so we're going to turn my saute function off. Yeah. And I'm going to turn, I got a third of a cup of beef broth. third of a cup of beef broth. Beef broth, you don't need any more than that. Um, so I put that in there to stop the cooling process or the cooking process. All right, I've got all my, my vegetables chopped up. You see I'm kind of, I chopped them a little bit bigger than I normally do, uh, but that's just because they're going to be under pressure for so long. All right, now I've got my can of undrained diced tomatoes going in there. And I've got my tablespoon of your favorite Creole season. Cajun season, mine is slap your mama. Get everything mixed in real good. All right. Take your lid, make sure it's on the sealed position. Now, since this is stew meat that's already cut to pieces, I'm going to pressure cook it for 45 minutes. Now, if you're using a roast, a one to two pound roast, you're going to go for about an hour, five hour, 15 minutes. So we'll see y'all in a few. We're back. We did 45 minutes under pressure and a 10 minute uh, natural release and I flipped the switch. And folks, this is, this is good. This meat's fork tender. It's full of flavor. Look at that. And I put it over some Tony Satchery's jambalaya rice. Um, you can cook this on the stove top in the microwave. Uh, Easy way to do it, we've got a second Instant Pot. Dump this in there, a uh, cup and a half of water, 10 minute pressure, quick release and we're done. Made it real easy. But anyway, so we're serving this over this over this jambalaya rice. Uh, real good, like I said, it's another way to cook your to cook your uh, roast or your stew meat, whatever you had. And now if I'd had the roast, like I said, an hour and five to an hour and 15 minutes and then a natural release and it'll basically just shred apart in there. Uh, but real good, uh, so hope you enjoy it and we'll see y'all next time. Uh, if you don't like, if, don't, uh, if you're not on our Facebook group page called Meals Under Pressure, check it out. Also, we've got a YouTube channel you can subscribe to under the same name. So, all right, we'll see you all next time.